The United States entered World War I and a National Selective Service Draft was organized. Baseball players were called by Uncle Sam to mobilize for a conflict in Europe and the national game, along with every aspect of life in the U.S., was impacted. Calls from the draft board caused player shortages at the highest levels of the game. Subsequent seasons found black teams with yet another opportunity to challenge the gentleman's agreement that kept the major leagues with only white-skinned participants. The Negro National League was formed in 1920. A league composed of all black organizations designed to provide a team to compete with the post-Great War major leagues and break the long-standing color barrier. Leaders met in Kansas City and ratified an eight-team league. John Donaldson brought his powerful left arm to the Kansas City Monarchs. 1920 was the first year of the most famous Negro League franchise and Donaldson was for a time listed as its manager. Just prior to the season opener, in what appears to be an organizational shift, the skipper job was given to Jose Mendez and kept Donaldson as a potential side moneymaker with the All Nations team. His name was still valuable on the routes forged the previous decade. J.L. Wilkinson had prime barnstorming dates already booked when the Monarchs finally took the field. Donaldson played a series with the revamped All Nations in Omaha just prior to the start of the Negro National League campaign. These games were not affiliated with the league, where a percentage of the gate receipts for each contest were required to go to the new league's offices in Chicago. Wilkinson relied on Donaldson to supplement the Monarch payroll, playing independently with the All Nations. A majority of his games in 1920 and 21 were in the starting lineup of the Monarchs. In 1922 and 23, he was asked to crisscross the upper Midwest in a primitive automobile, leading the All Nations as the player manager and main pitching attraction. At age 33, Donaldson's baseball skills were still sharp. His abilities to both persevere in Jim Crow America and fill the war chest of Wilkinson made him perhaps the most valuable monarch. With the All Nations in the summer of 1923, Donaldson pitched great ball, throwing a no-hitter in July. He also led his barnstorming team to Duluth, Minnesota, where just a few years earlier, three black traveling circus workers were murdered by a lynch mob. The Zenith City's ballpark was jammed with the largest crowd in memory and over 3,000 watched Donaldson win. The news reported there was not a single gift in his powerful offerings. The character of John Wesley Donaldson led the way. For two decades, he was called back to the Kansas City Monarchs at various times. His significance to the organization went beyond his abilities on the field. John Donaldson's value to the greatest of all Negro League franchises must be appreciated and remembered. Together, we will restore his legacy.